When you watch a lesson on Scrimber, you're watching a scrim. Unlike ordinary screencasts, you can pause scrims, select, copy, edit, and even run the code. I'm Alex from Scrimber, and in just three and a half minutes, I'm going to show you some tips to get the most from scrims. Scrimba teachers understand that you learn most efficiently when you are challenged to interact with the code and will often encourage you to edit their scrims. You can just go ahead and put it right after the comment that you see there. I'm going to pause here while you add those two things in. So go ahead and do that right now. Now, when you click into a scrim, you'll see this little note pin drop on your timeline and the background darkens. A note represents an independent version of the code, which you can tweak and toy with without having to worry about breaking anything. Said another way, you can think of notes like a save or a checkpoint in a video game. Say I'm experimenting with some of Per's code and I decide I'm ready to continue his lesson. I can discard the note by pressing the cross icon just like this. The background lightens, the experimental code I wrote is permanently discarded, and I can resume viewing with confidence that I haven't messed anything up. Alternatively, I might only want to rewind a little bit to rewatch and clarify something, then resume editing my notes. Rest assured, you can go back in time, then back to your notes anytime within a session by clicking the yellow indicator on the timeline. With that said, do remember, you must save your note before leaving the page if you intend to keep it more permanently. To save a note, click the green tick. A new menu will appear, from this menu, you can then open the notes in a new window and copy the unique link. This is the link you should share with your mates on Discord. The notes will also save to your account. Now, when you open your notes in a new window, you will also unlock the ability to highlight code and copy what we call a contextual link. A contextual link allows the person you share with to see which lines you highlighted, now, when you ask for help, you can highlight the troublesome lines or block of code and you'll get help quicker. Also, you might have noticed just above this copy contextual link button is a button to download the source code. This is handy if you want to continue working on your project locally or push your code to GitHub. Although, please be aware there are some limitations when you download code from Scrimbo. Okay, time for some quick fire tips. Listen, when you code in a scrim, you'll get auto-completion. These auto-completion menus are way underrated. At no point should you be trying to memorize function or property names, okay? Use auto-completion to your advantage. If you happen to lose this menu, move your cursor and press Control plus space to see what's available. If nothing shows up, that could be normal. Auto-completion doesn't work everywhere, so don't worry. Also, by the way, you can press Shift, Alt, and F to format your code at any time. Now, when you make changes, it's natural to click reload, but you can be more productive by pressing Command and S or Control and S, that's S for save. Another way you can be more productive is by giving the teacher's slides focus and moving back and forward using the left and right arrow keys respectively. Finally, Scrimba will show you some logging, output and error messages prominently here in this area when you run your app, but often you'll need more information which can be found in the console window right here. Make sure that's open when you're working on your app. If you're an intermediate user, and only if you're an intermediate user, you can open your browser's developer tools by right-clicking the menu part of the scrim and choosing inspect elements. Scrimba does write to the developer tools outputs and reveals even more information there. They are my most premium tips. Thank you for watching. You're welcome to click off, but if you do that, you won't learn these advanced bonus tips. To make a blank scrim, from the homepage, click your avatar, then new scrim. Choose your template and get to work. This is really handy if you want a playground or to test your ability to build a project from scratch. Here's a dot new tip for you. To make a blank scrim from anywhere, go to your browser URL bar and type html.new. Lastly, and I really do mean lastly, Scrimba has many advanced shortcuts based on VS Code, which you can explore by pressing F1 within a scrim. F1 opens the command palette, which shows you all your options and the platform-specific hotkeys to trigger them. For example, if you want to format your code and you can't remember that shortcut, just give it a quick look. Again, I'm Alex Booker. The Scrimba team and I want you to be successful, and I hope these tips will aid in exactly that.